Boys, in previous class, we have discussed the distance for water. And we have proved this formula taking the two axes x and y axis and choosing two points anywhere in the study given plane. We have taken this point as A, that is x1, y1, and this point is B, that is x2, y2, and to calculate the distance between these two points, we have proved that the distance will be given by this point. The limit A. This thing you have also done in class time. Now here, at some advanced level, we will try to discuss some implication of this formula. And we will apply this formula in some difficult problems which are asked in your exam. Now boys, we should discuss few concepts. Suppose we have two points A and B. Suppose we have one more point. Say, C is B. Say, C is B. Now, if we join these three points, A, B, and C, say, C is X, three comma by two, suppose. Now, if we join these three points, what will we get? We will get a triangle. Now, for this triangle, if it is asked to calculate the length of sides of this triangle, now, how to calculate? The problem is solved by this formula. How? You just calculate the distance between A and B using this formula. Similarly, calculate the distance between B and C using this formula, same formula. Instead of x1, y1, you have to take x3, y3 and now apply the formula. Again, to calculate the distance between C and A, you have to apply the same formula. So, you will get the three ranges of sides of this triangle A, B, C. Now, once you get the length of sides of triangle, you are able to identify what kind of triangle will be this. Now, suppose neither of lengths are equal, then in that case, this triangle will be a scalene triangle. Now, if any two lengths are equal, then this triangle will be a isosceles triangle. If all the three lengths are equal, then this triangle will be equilateral triangle. And one more thing is there. If the square of one side is equal to sum of the squares of the remaining two, then this triangle will be a right angle triangle. So, in this way, using this formula, we can prove that the triangle is a right angle, isosceles, equilateral, scan, or some more results. See, if we have four points, A, B, C, and D. <laughs> now, if you join all these four points, you will get a quadrilateral. Now, for this quadrilateral, if it is asked to find the length of sides of that quadrilateral, you are able to find the length of sides using distance formula. And what? Depending on the length of their sides, you are able to prove whether this quadrilateral is a rectangle or it is a square, or it is a parallelogram, or it is a rhombus. This will depend on the problem, how to prove it. Now, see here, in case of a parallelogram, you know that opposing sides are equal. This side, this length must be equal to this, this length must be equal to this. Opposing. In case of rhombus, you know all sides are equal. So all sides equal. In case of rectangle, you know opposite sides are equal as well as the length of diagonals are equal. In case of a square, all sides are equal as well as the length of diagonals are equal. Whereas this much we have to take the help of this formula to prove the quadrilateral, proof for a quadrilateral having square, rectangle, rhombus, or parallel. But we may adopt few advanced method in due course when your this topic move onwards. We will have several different techniques with the help of which we can solve such type of problems easily. But to solve them, we have to learn how to apply this formula, that distance formula.
So let us take a problem on it. Suppose we have people, suppose we have people that prove that, question, say take a problem on it, question, prove that the triangle, the triangle formed by, formed by <laughs> the points, formed by the points, 7 comma 9, 3 comma minus 7, and minus 3 comma 3 is a right angle, right angle, isosceles triangle. Suppose, this is a problem. And we have to prove this triangle which is formed by these three points is a right angle, isosceles triangle. What? You can plot these points on two axes, choosing two axes on graph also, but to solve such type of problems always, it is not easier for us to draw two lines and then try to plot the points in their respective quadrants. Remember it? So, we will just, yeah, we will form a triangle, any triangle you can form, and you just name the triangle as ABC. That this is the triangle ABC, which is formed by these three points. Axis will be somewhere which we don't know. Now, <laughs> remember words. We have to prove that this triangle is right angle triangle, isosceles triangle. But in advance, you don't know which angle is right angle. You don't know. So, first of all, you have to find that which angle will be 90 degree. Then only you are able to form a right angle triangle. That's why. We have prepared a normal triangle here because in advance we don't know which angle, whether A or B or C is 90 degree. We don't know. So do not try to prepare a right angle triangle like this and then A, B, C, right angle A. No. This is wrong. This is totally wrong. You just prepare any triangle, then this one is the triangle, and then try to put the coordinates of points A, B, C here 7, 9, 3, 7. And then minus 3 comma 3. You can put minus 3 comma 3. Twice <laughs> applying this distance formula, you are able to calculate the distance between A and B. And this distance between A and B will provide you the length of side AB of this triangle ABC. So now see how we have applied it. Therefore, for solution. You can write just prepare this triangle and then you write using distance formula. Simply you can write distance formula. This one. A B is equal to root. Now you see here A and B. If we, what we have to do here with distance formula? First subtract the axis, then square it. Plus, then subtract the ordinate and then square. Now you see here, abscissa 7, here it is 3. So we should subtract it as 7 minus 3 whole square. You see here, plus the next one, that is 9, and then minus minus plus 9 plus 7 whole square. I think all of you easily understand why we are writing here plus, because here it is minus. Here it is plus 9 minus minus 7. So it becomes plus. Now, if you calculate it, you will get root 1, 16 plus 2, 56. How 256? 9 plus 7, 16. 16 is 256. Here it is 16. And if you calculate it, you will get root over 272. Now, by just put units here, you need 272 units. Remember it. Distance. After calculating, suppose here distance will be root 16, then do not write plus minus sign because distance is a length. So it should never be negative. It is always positive. So that's why you have written here units. Now it is left to you to calculate the distances of the length BC as well as C. What is I am writing? The measure of the two sides here directly. When you apply the formula, you will get AB is equal to root 272 units. Now, if you calculate BC, you will get root 
136 units. You just calculate at home using the same distance formula. This, this is left for you. Now, similarly, C is equal to root 136 units. You see here, root 136 units. You can calculate using the same distance formula, the length C. Now, AB, BC, and C are the three lengths you have. But <laughs> for this triangle ABC, what you observe here, that this BC is equal to C, and what you observe here, AB square is equal to BC square plus C A square. Square it is 136, square it is 136. Add the two. If you add the two, it becomes 272. And square it, it becomes 272. So AB square is equal to BC square plus C A square. So this thing you have to write here. Since, since, you can simply write, since BC is equal to C A and, and you can put Length, length of fine segment and AB square is equal to BC square plus C square. Therefore, try now ABC is a right angle isosceles triangle. Angle you can also simplify that angle C is equal to 90 degrees. Or A, or B, which angle is 90 degree? AB, AB is square, or AB is the hypotenuse. So angle C should be 90 So this is the application of this distance formula here. Now, so take one more problem. Say, what if it is asked that identify the quadrilateral which is formed by the coordinates? If it is asked, to identify the quadrilateral which is formed by the point, you see here, I'm giving you the points 2, comma, minus 2, then 8, comma, 4, then 5, comma, 7, then minus 1, comma, 1. Suppose the four points are given to you, and if it is asked to identify this quadrilateral formed by these four points. So for us, you just prepare any quadrilateral, any quadrilateral, you just prepare like here, 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 square, one, one, whatever you do. Now, A, B, C, B. One more thing you must keep in mind, that while such type of problems, it is also mentioned that these points taken in order, this word is important, taken in order. If you change the order, then the problem may be wrong. If you change the order. So, what? You must keep in mind that while such type of problems, this word is always there, taken in order. Taken in order means first you have to take, start from here and then go in a circular. You see here, if you have taken this 2, minus 2 as A, then what you have done in class 9 and 10, so far, you have taken A4 as B, and then, then 5, 1, 7, you can't take this one. You have to take this one. See, in order, in order you have to take, either it is clockwise, or it is anti-clockwise. You can start from here, but you have to maintain the order. You have to maintain the order. So now what to do? For 2, comma minus 2, this one, this one will be 8, comma 4. This one will be 5 comma 7. Then this one will be minus 1 comma 1. Now the four points we have plotted. Now apply distance formula. You can write using distance formula. This word you can keep here. Using distance formula. What you will observe here? After using distance formula, a b is equal to write directly. A b is so what happens? Root of what? 2 minus 8, that is minus 6, whole square, 36. And then minus 2 minus 4. So that is minus 6, whole square, 36. So you can directly write root over 72 units. Boaz calculation is left for you. You just take copy, pen, and try to solve this land using the spot bar. I'm writing here directly the measure, that is root 72. You just calculate it 
on your talking. Again, PC. This line. How to calculate? You know, 8 minus 5 whole square. That is 3. 3 square is 9. And then 4 minus 7. Again, whole square. That is 9. 9 plus 9. That is 18. So it is root 18 units. Again, calculate this one. CD. What happens? How to get the length of CD? That is 5 plus 1. That is 6. 6 whole square. 36. 7 minus 1. So 6 whole square. 36. So it becomes root 72 units. Again, calculate the A. This VLN again minus 1 minus 2, that is minus 3. Square 9, again 1 plus 2, that is 3. Square 9, 9 plus 9, 18. So that becomes VA is equal to root 18 units. <laughs> root 18 units. So, A, B, B, C, C, D, D, A, we have calculated. What we observe here? We observe that the opposite sides are equal. So, surely it will be a parallelogram. Obviously, it will be a parallelogram. Let us take, find the length of diagonals. Say, A, C, this length, A, C. Now, A, C is equal to, apply the same, apply the same formula. What are the distance between A and C? 2 minus 5, that is, Minus 3 whole square that is 9, minus 2 minus 7 that is minus 9 whole square 81. So 81 plus 9 that is root 90. This one is root 90 units. Again, try to find out the length of diagonal BD. This length, BD. The length of BD, apply the same formula. What you will get? For BD, minus 1 minus 8 that is minus 9 whole square 81. Again, 1 minus 4, that is minus 3, whole square, that is 9. So, 81 plus 9, that is 90. Again, BD is root 90 units. So, what you observe here? The length of diagonals are also equal. So, if opposite sides are equal and length of diagonals are equal, what happens? This coordinator will be a rectangle. So, you have to write it. That since, since AB is equal to C, or BC is equal to AD and diagonal diagonal AC equals to B. Therefore, ABC is a rectangle. This one is a rectangle. Now, one more thing. You must keep in mind here yeah, that sometimes you will really ask that find the area of this rectangle. So once you get the length that is AB and the breadth that is BC, so length into breadth will be area of this rectangle. So it's simple, it's very easy, no problem. Now, <coughs> take one more problem. Boys, suppose we have three points, just stand by here. Suppose we have three points. See, T that is A B square comma two A T Q that is A by T square comma minus two A by T and R. That is a comma three. Prove that. If it is asked, prove that one by PR plus one by QR is equal to one by A. See, just you have to solve in class eleven the problems which are of class eleven, which are class frequently there in chapter twelve. So, P is one point, Q is another point, and R is the third point. Now, what we have to prove? 1 by PR plus 1 by QR is equal to 1 by A. Now, you see here, PR means distance between P and R. QR means distance between Q and R. So, we have to calculate the length PR. We have to calculate the length QR. 
And then we are in the UR. After calculating this length, we have to invert the two lengths and then add it. It should be one by eight. Let's try the problem. What? So first of all, we will try to calculate the length PR. You see that. PR. PR is equal to what? This minus this whole square. No problem. Do two. PR, say this one is x2 by 2, this one is x1 by 2. So x2 minus x1 whole square, you can write a minus a p square whole square. The thing will be there. Now 0 minus 2 a p plus 0 minus 2 a p. That is whole square. Clear? Now what happens? We will try to simplify this integral. How to simplify it? You can see here. Root over. <coughs> You can take a common in between. Now, if you take a common, the square of this is a square. So you can take a square here. Finally, what you will get? Yeah, you will get 1 minus t square, that is whole square. No problem. Plus, here you will get 4 a square t square. 4 a square t square. <coughs> this thing you will get. Okay. Now, if you See, observe here, you can take a square common to both. And if you take a square common, it appears here. So what happens? It becomes a root 1 minus t square whole square plus 4 t square. Why? Remember, whenever we are taking this a square outside this radical sign, we assume that this a is positive. That's why we have written here simply a, and you must keep in your mind that a is positive here. Given. You must keep in mind. So, <coughs> here you will get this result. Now, observe this result a minus b whole square plus 4ab. That is a plus b whole square. So, what you will get? You will get a in the bracket root over 1 plus t square whole square. You observe this. You know this formula. You know this formula. So 1 minus t square whole square plus 4d square. It becomes a 1 plus t square whole square. And this is square, it disappears this radical sign. And what will, what will be the result? A in the bracket 1 plus t square. Clear? No problem. So this one is your length PR, the number 1. Okay. Now take the next one. We have to calculate the length q1. <laughs> this one for PR, we can write here, PR is equal to this one. See? Now, take Q1. This one. Q1 is equal to root over. Now, distance between this and this. So, how to write? A minus A on T square for this one. Plus 0 minus minus, so what again? Plus 0 plus 2a by t for this one. The second for q1, now this is equal to again try to simplify the same fraction. What you will observe here, you see a, a is common, so when it comes out, it becomes a square. So a square in the bracket 1 minus 1 by t square whole square plus. 4a square by t square. You see that? Now, again, you can take a out. So, what we will get? You will get a root of one. That is 1 minus 1 by t square whole square plus 4 by t square. The same formula is applicable here. If you observe it, that is a minus b whole square plus 4ab. That becomes a plus b whole square. So what happens? This becomes root a root over 1 plus 1 plus 1 by t square that is whole square. Now you can disappear this radical sign. Yeah, from here it becomes a square. So what happens? A in the negative 1 plus 1 by t square. Now take the LCM. What do you get? A in the negative t square plus 1 by t square. So this is your number two result. This is q1. This one is here. Now what we have to do? One by here plus one by q1. Now take LHS. 
left hand side of your rhythm. So what happens? Left hand side, you just try. Therefore, left hand side of your rhythm. What happens? 1 by PR plus 1 by P1. Now 1 by PR, you have calculated 1 by PR is A, 1 plus T square. And 1 by Q1, you have calculated what? Plus 1 by A, 1 plus T square by T square. Whereas you have to simplify this result for your final result. Now, how to simplify your see here? <coughs> you just invert this. What happens? 1 by A in the bracket 1 plus T square. Again, plus. So take T square to numerator, T square. A, 1 plus T square. No problem. Now take the LCM. Your LCM will be A, 1 plus T square. In numerator, you will get 1 plus T square. Now these two things cancel out. So what we will get? That is 1 by A. This one is your right hand side. Right hand side of your result. Thus, we have proved that 1 by T R plus 1 by Q1 is equal to 1 by Q1. Well, so in this way, this type of problems may be asked in examination. We have completed today this distance formula. And in the next class, we will try to discuss the next topic. Thank you very much. Okay? One more thing I have to say. For all those who are listening this uh, video, you just use earphone. You just use earphone to for clear sound. For clear sound. Always use earphone. Okay? No problem. Thank you.